Okay, Weezy. I had a run-in with this dude down at the gym. And we decided to settle it in the ring tomorrow. George, are you crazy? You could get killed. Well, you, see, you don't even know the guy I'm fighting. No, but I do know you. <laughs> you're not a fighter, you're a cleaner. OK, now what do you want me to do? Challenge him to a cleaning contest? <laughs> what I want you to do is call this fight off. Weezy, are you kidding? Look, a man with no pride is a nobody. Now, he challenged me, so I got to save face. That's exactly what I'm trying to save. <laughs> Your face! Well, you can just save your breath, because I don't want to hear about it. OK, George, don't listen to reason. But I'm warning you, if he breaks your neck, I'm going to break your neck. Hey, Mrs. Jefferson. Oh, Leroy, what are you doing here? Well, Mr. Jefferson gave me the afternoon off so I could referee. Really? <laughs> Can you fix it so that George doesn't get hurt? You mean cheat? No, I wouldn't do that. But don't worry. I'll stop it as soon as either one of them busts a nose or spits out any teeth. <laughs> Where's George? He's in the dressing room with Marcus having his hands taped. He should be having his mouth taped. <laughs> Who's George fighting? Uh, that guy, right over there. Excuse me. Yeah? Uh, I'm Louise Jefferson, George Jefferson's wife. You got my sympathy. Uh, look, you don't really want to fight my husband, do you? Sure, why not? Well, he's... he's an orphan. Tough. And he's also a veteran. Good. That way you won't have to pay for his funeral. And he only has one kidney. Really? Which side? I don't want to waste a good kidney punch. There must be some way I can get you not to hurt my husband. Forget it, lady. How about a hundred dollars? Said your husband was an orphan? What do you want me to do? Just don't hit him. And when he hits you, you go down, OK? No problem, lady. You got a deal. Uh, now, you won't forget. Hey, I got my pride, OK? When I take a dive, I do it right. Doing here? George. Look, if you came here to talk me out of the fight and forget it. No, George, I'm I mean, not. I don't care what you say, Wheezy. What did you say? <laughs> I said I'm not going to try to talk you out of fighting. Why not? <laughs> well, like you said last night, George, a man without pride is a nobody. <laughs> On the other hand, a man without teeth is an ugly nobody. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Maybe there's a better way than winning a fight to show Marcus how to be a man. Oh, what do you mean? Well, this is what I'll do. For Marcus' sake, understand? I'm gonna throw the fight. That way I can show Marcus, even if you lose, you can still be a man. Throw the fight? Yeah, Weezy. I won't even throw a punch at the guy. And after he throws his first punch at me, I just hit the floor. 